What's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to show you guys an awesome app called Umail. What it does is it allows you to block all of those stupid spam callers, telemarketers, all the scam calls, scam texts. It allows you to create a custom voicemail for individual contacts, unknown numbers, and spam numbers. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. <music> So the application we're going to be looking at is called Umail. It's right here. Mine has already been pre-set up. Now there is an option to return to your carrier's voicemail because when you go ahead and first set up this application, it's going to ask you to dial three different numbers. You're going to dial those numbers and it's going to switch your voicemail from your carrier over to Umail. Now you can switch it back to your carrier. If you try this app, you don't like it, then you can always go back to your carrier's voicemail. So I will show you guys what the application looks like once you have it set up. All right, so once we're in the application, this is kind of how it looks. You're gonna have little tabs on the bottom that you can switch between. So right now I'm on the history tab. These are calls from earlier this week. These are the block calls that the application has found that it's a scam or something that is more like a spam or telemarketer. That's one of the great features of this application is it will automatically block calls that it knows are scam calls or telemarketers or just annoying extended warranty calls, whatever the case may be. If you go to this little shield right here, this is how you set up the robocall blocking. All you would need to do is open the settings, tap phone, go ahead and tap on the call blocking and identification tab, and enable the UMail access so that it is able to automatically block calls that are incoming on your device. As you can see on my device, I do not have that enabled, and there is a reason for that. I don't have it enabled because I would much rather troll the telemarketers and waste their time. I'm also going to show you guys how to do that because this application allows you to set custom voicemails for specific numbers, specific contacts, unknown numbers, and spam callers. So let me hop over to settings and I will show you how to do that. All right, in the settings, you're going to see all of these different options such as blocking a voicemail to text, automatic replies. The setting that we are looking for is called greetings. Now what this allows you to do is go ahead and download a bunch of different voicemail greetings. This is my preferred method with dealing with spam callers and telemarketers. So if we go ahead and open up one of these greetings, for example, this will be a good one if you're on a call list and you want someone to stop calling you. I'll go ahead and play it. We're sorry. You have reached a number that has been disconnected or is no longer in service. If you fear you have reached this recording in error, please check the number and try your call again. All right, so it sounds very believable. It sounds exactly like as if your phone number was out of service, so you might have some luck and they might take you off of their call list if they hear that tone. Now I have ones that are preset for my friends. Here's a funny one that I have for a couple of my friends. Hi, my name is Tammy and I have a ward on my lip. I know you wanna to touch it and run your finger along its hairy surface. I wish you were here rubbing Sam on it right now. So yes, a very weird voicemail, but I just think it's absolutely hilarious when they call. Nobody has heard that one yet. I just barely set that one for them. But there's a whole entire voicemail store that you can go ahead and download custom voicemails from. So if we tap this plus button right here, go ahead and browse greetings. There's a bunch of different categories. I prefer the entertainment, funny, 
call blocking and fake errors. I feel like those are the most effective ones for this use case in this application. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you a quick recording that you could set as a custom voicemail. Go ahead and tap on this one. Here's the preview of it. Hello and welcome to the mental health hotline. If you are obsessive compulsive, press one repeatedly. If you are codependent, ask someone to press two for you. If you have multiple personalities, press three, four, five, and six. If you are paranoid. So let's say we wanna use that greeting. All you need to do is tap use this greeting. It's gonna go ahead and copy it to your account. So let's push done. Now it should appear somewhere on this list. There it is, mental health hotline. So once it's downloaded, you can open it. You can set it as your main voicemail or you can add specific contacts. I, unfortunately, I'm not gonna push that button because I don't want to put anyone on blast on my contact list. But we'll go ahead and tap set as main, push okay. Now everyone that calls me is gonna hear that specific voicemail. There are professional ones, there are funny ones. So for me, I specifically have a couple funny ones for my friends. I have some troll ones for the telemarketers and the robocallers. One of the ones that I like to use for telemarketers, especially all of the extended warranties and the scammers, I like to set this healthcare voicemail. So when they start calling me, it's going to reject them and it's gonna send them straight to this recording and they're gonna get advertised to instead of me. So go ahead and listen to it. We believe everyone should have health care regardless of age. And your medical history does not matter. Again, your medical history does not matter. You will be able to take advantage of this. So all it is is a long advertisement that sits there and wastes their time since they're trying to call me and waste my time. But like I said before, there is a bunch of different funny voicemails that you can set. So go ahead and leave in the comments which voicemail recording you're using on your Umail app. So now I'm gonna go over a couple other settings with this application. So this application does have visual voicemail. It will do voicemail to text. So if you like to read your voicemails, it also has that feature. So you can upgrade your account. It does cost money. However, the free account does everything that I need it to do. It blocks spam calls, it makes custom voicemails, it blocks spam text. Pretty much everything that I would want it to do is included in the free version. However, if you are a business and you're trying to look for something, this is the upgraded program. You can get all these additional features included. So it can be very useful if you are a business and you have a bunch of business phones you can go ahead and install this application on each of them and make it sound professional. Anyways, just a quick recap. So this application has the potential to block spam calls, telemarketers, and robocalls. It also allows you to set custom voicemails for those specific instances, for specific contacts. It also blocks spam texts. It has visual voicemail, speech to text, so that you can read your voicemails. I used to use a tweak called Answering Machine that did something very similar to this. It allowed me to set custom voicemails. It did not allow me to block all these different calls. This application seems to have a lot more options. So I am lucky that I found this application because it does everything Answering Machine does and more. And there's a plus side of not having to jailbreak your device if you are uncomfortable with that, but at the same time taking care of these spam callers. So if you guys have any questions or concerns, go ahead and leave them down in the comments. Go ahead and tell me what voicemails you're using on your device. I would love to get some ideas to troll those pesky telemarketers if you guys have any more ideas or what voicemails you're using. But if you like the video, go ahead and smack that like button. If you love the video, go ahead and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.